Hey, so I am still out here, still at it. Um, I did manage to get my fox up and stretched a bit. Um, and I still got some, uh, still got a coyote uh, chilling in his uh, little salt bath. And we're still macerating over there. But I am a little irritated. And this is actually a really good um, example of how things are so imp perfect sometimes. I'm hooping out this um, porcupine and I just, I have this vision in my head that I really want to stick with and this to be a wall hanging. Um, but so you see what I see. It's hooping out wonky and it's really pissing me off. So I'm going to have to pull the whole thing. The vineage is beautiful. It's it for the most part, it's what I was thinking. Um, but there's that part of me where I'm like, it's just, it looks wonky. It looks off to me. So I guess it's a prime example of, um, how things aren't always perfect and go off without a hitch on the first try. Um, so I'm probably going to stay out here quite a bit longer tonight and work on this nightmare until I can get it to where I want it to be. Um, it, I'm close. I just need to, you know, everything's not perfect. So nothing is perfect. I'm so tired. I don't even, it, nothing in nature is perfect. So this isn't going to be some perfectly round, perfect in diameter shape. So I hadn't, you know, I didn't expect that to begin with because of the, the way the, the vining is, uh, knotted and curly anyway, but it's so pretty. Look at it. Look how pretty it is. It's, it's, um, this is actually all one vine that had wrapped itself around itself multiple times. So I'm going to make this work, but compeller high water. But um, I just wanted to show you that, you know, it's not all perfect all the time. And I do get irritated and pissed off and I get cranky and, <laughs> and I cuss and spit. And then, you know what? I untie things and I take it apart and I retie things. But this was a good example today. So good to see ya. See ya.